In a time when Chinese immigrants in America face discrimination in all walks of life simply because of their race, author Edith Maud Eaton channeled the power of the pen to help make positive change. Born in England in 1865 to a British father and a Chinese mother, Edith's family moved to Montreal, Canada when she was seven, where she fell in love with literature. At 18, she took a job as a stenographer, but her true passion was writing. A versatile and skilled author, Edith published humorous essays, short stories, and even investigative articles, which caught the attention of editors at the Montreal Witness, who hired her to report on the Chinese community in the city. Although the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 prevented Chinese immigrants from entering the United States, Edith's mixed heritage enabled her to travel across the border many times. In the U.S., she observed daily life in Chinatowns across the country, writing authentically about the experiences of Chinese people and the discrimination they faced due to their race. She compiled many of these experiences into short stories, which she published under the Cantonese pen name Sui Sin Far, a childhood nickname meaning narcissist flower. These stories gave a voice to the Chinese immigrant community and crucially, educated white audiences about the realities of racial prejudice, xenophobia, and sexism in the U.S. They were so successful, in fact, that Edith became well-known in the U.S. itself, even receiving tons of fan mail full of admiration for her work. She began to write for national magazines, and in 1912, published another short story collection, Mrs. Spring Fragrance. It explores the balance between Chinese customs and American culture in Chinese immigrant lives and was one of the first fiction books published by a woman of Chinese descent and English in U.S. history. Edith dedicated her life to writing and the pursuit of truth. She died in 1914, aged just 49, leaving behind a body of work that continues to educate and entertain readers over a century later. How can different forms of writing illuminate the experiences of other people? <laughs>